Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Weefies and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I haven't really confessed to anyone. I mean, my parents know, a few of my friends know, but it's not anything I've always openly spoken about. Obviously. <laughs> so today, we're going to be talking about my biggest regret, probably, ever. So... A lot of people that I go to school with say I'm nice, which I greatly appreciate. I doubt it, but I greatly appreciate it nonetheless. And one of these times, the time I'm talking about today actually, is me not being so nice. It's actually me being a careless, heartless ass. And honestly, I just want to kind of talk about it. I don't know why. I don't know. I just kind of feel like saying it out loud makes it better. I don't know. Don't hurt me. So, this was back in the fourth grade, so obviously I had less brain cells than I do now, so I would never do this at my age, but, you know, in fourth grade, your empathy is just developing, you're not really, you don't know anything, it's kind of just a weird stage, sort of, and I had a friend back in fourth grade who will remain anonymous, because I don't really mind what his name is, but it's a him. And I was kind of a jerk. So before I was a jerk, which I probably was as a little kid, but the, this is the big time where I was. So I got to go on a lucky trip to a Google headquarters back in my town. And this was really awesome. And I was even allowed to bring a friend, which is even cooler. And back at that time, this friend, we're going to call him Doug. His name wasn't Doug, but we're going to call him Doug because I only know one Doug. And most people watching this video who know who I am in real life know that Doug that I know, that this isn't that Doug. So pretty much what went on is that I would he, he came with me to Google, right? And it was really fun. We played a lot of games, and Google is amazing. It has gyms, video games, music rooms. It's just awesome to be there. Uh, super surreal that you can be in such as a famous headquarters, but that's besides the point. So Doug at this time was probably my best friend. He invited me to his birthday party. I invited to him. I invited him to mine, vice versa, etc. So we went to Google and we had a lot of fun until came the gym. And up until then, I've been to Google once before, so I was super excited to take Doug because I knew he'd enjoy it as well because we're very similar. We played Sky Wars together, and he was just a bit more athletic than I was. I think he still does cross, cross country. Anyway, where does this lead us to? It leads us to the gym room, where everything is going fun, and then we came across these amazing chains. These two chains were just suspended there, ready to be swung on, and they probably weren't for swinging. They're like these little chains with rings at the end, but there were two pairs of so there are four chains, two pairs of two, or two pairs right next to each other, pretty much. And we decided to get in the chains and start swinging back and forth and hitting each other. And especially at the fourth grade, you might look at this and say, wow, you, you're an idiot. But no, yeah, I was an idiot, but I decided to do it anyway. And we just swung at each other on the chains trying to hit each other. And then Doug fell. So I think he fell on his arm and he obviously was hurt. I'm checking around to see if any of my family members are listening. I just do not feel comfortable saying this to anyone, except for 100 people. Doug was hurt, and obviously I was really worried because I wanted to make sure that he was okay. But my fourth grade self, as I said before, was kind of a dingus. So instead of being okay, my prioritized emotion was, what the hell, why did you have to get hurt? I want to make you happy. I want to show you all of this amazing Google space. And now that you're hurt, we have to go home. How dare you get hurt? That's just not how we're supposed to do it. You're supposed to be okay. And yeah, I sound like kind of an idiot. And yeah, I kind of was an idiot. So, still am. And that is pretty much the beginning of the dark ages between me and Doug. And obviously, Doug, he didn't mind that much. I mean, he was probably too hurt to realize that I was kind of being a jerk. And when we dropped off at his house, my dad told me, say bye to Doug. And I was like, no, idiot. He didn't. He got hurt. I just didn't say anything, actually. I would never say that to my dad's face. But that's pretty much what happened. And, you know, after that, I apologized because my mother told me that what I did was wrong. And he's like, eh, it's okay. But you could tell that it wasn't okay because my fourth grade self was kind of an Bruh. So, uh, sorry, not kind of. Definitely 100%. So, where does this continue? Well, it actually goes even, it becomes even worse, to the point of theft, sort of. 
So I went to Doug's house a couple of days later because we're still friends, you know, just not amazing. And what happens is my fourth grade butt decides we're going to play Minecraft. But the moment you can't play Minecraft with me anymore, I'm going home because the only thing you're good for is Minecraft. And I literally said that to his face. I phrased it obviously differently, but the message was still the same. I only go to your house to play Minecraft with you. And, you know, a lot of you might know that that's not a very nice thing to say to someone, especially after you just hurt their feelings after they injured. So Doug was disappointed and he's like, oh, you sure you don't want to stay at my house so you can do other stuff? And I'm like, no, nope, I'm leaving you. I'm just not going to play with you anymore. If you can't play Minecraft with me, I, you're, you, you're nothing to me. Minecraft is all you are. And I got sent home. I, I, <laughs> I didn't I didn't get sent home. I got picked up. And my mom explained to me an hour later, she walked into my room while I was watching probably some YouTuber, like Preston Plays or something. And she told me, what you did was very bad. Your friend is now, Doug is now depressed because he thinks he's only good for Minecraft and he's very hurt. And lo and behold, I didn't know that. I know it's me, but I, it's like a different person when you're that younger. So like, I don't know, five years ago, I was in fourth grade. So in the so me being fourth grade, I had no idea I heard him. I thought, haha, if I'm honest, nothing bad can happen to me. And I just had no idea that I heard him, which consequentially resulted in my mental breakdown after hearing this. I kind of started crying and I locked myself up in my room and I pushed my bed in front of my door and I made a promise that I would never, ever get out of my room. I would live in my room to, you know, be ashamed of my actions after hurting someone. I didn't mean to hurt him, but clearly I did because I'm an idiot. So afterwards, after about an hour, I was let out of my, I went out of my room. I don't know why I keep saying I have permission to do these things, but I went out of my room and I just started crying more. And nobody came to comfort me. You know why? Because they shouldn't have came to comfort me, which they didn't. So congratulations to them for doing the right thing, because I was an idiot. So I think I learned that I should be nicer to people. And now Doug hates me. He won some sort of track meet, and I said congrats, and he just walked by me. He hates me now. So that's pretty funny. Anyway, we go to different schools. I don't see Doug, but the memory still lives on. I don't feel remorse. I mean... I kind of feel remorse, but not really that much anymore. I don't care. I try to apologize, but I mean, let's be honest. I was a butt. I was a butt, but I apologized, which doesn't make it better. But that's why I don't feel any remorse. And I stole a Lego piece from him because I was so salty, and I still have that Lego piece to this day. So yeah, I don't know what the moral of the story is. I guess this is just the reasoning behind why so many of my friends call me kind. I guess I try to be kind to others to make up for what I did that days because, you know, I felt terrible. I don't feel bad anymore. It's kind of just awkward if I ever see him. But, you know, I, I don't mind that much. I don't know what the moral is. I don't really know how to end it either. The point is, I guess the moral of the story is don't be a butt. Your age isn't an excuse. Unless, I mean, you might not know better if you're that young. But don't be an ass of people. It's just not a really kind thing to do. Anyway, um, we're, gonna, we're, just, we're not going to get this video to 10 minutes, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if this one was a bit dark, but I hope you enjoy the background footage. I and yeah, see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, Doug, and peace out. Bye.